man, something smells really good out here. Someone else is grilling. It smells like steaks. Probably ribeye. <laughs> anyway, hello there from the uh, best smelling neighborhood in the known universe. Welcome to Smoky Goodness. Today a recipe that uh, I've been working on for a little over a week. Um, and I can't take full credit for this. This is something that Jimbo Jitsu created. An award winning recipe. Did I mention award winning? We're going to take his idea of these little, um, I don't remember what he called them. They were uh, like uh, mushroom, onion, meatball things. Anyway, I'm making a meatloaf out of it and I'm going to change a few things. And uh, rather than uh, going on a long, long extended tour, uh, my Wayback Machine has been borrowed a couple of times so far this summer and I haven't seen it since. Um, the ingredients will be announced as they come into play. So. Let's get going. Stick around, Herb. Hi, Nick. Hi, Garrett. Shut up, first responders. If they can smell this lump of charcoal, they know something's up on here. They're on the way. Happens every week. Okay, you may have noticed I've laid some aluminum down underneath because I'm going to start off with some uh, thick cut bacon here. Okay, this bacon is eventually uh, going into the meatloaf. I'm not going to cook it all the way out here. But I do want to get it started because of this. Don't worry, I have hand sanitizer out here. so. Gonna make some candy bacon. It's another twist to uh, Jimbo Jitsu's recipe that uh, I thought of. And like I said, we're just gonna pre-cook this for a little while just to get it started. Some of that candy bacon going, that flavor. I'm gonna put a bunch of it on too. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna let this go for a few minutes. After which, uh, I'll pull it off and cut it up into, uh, or chunk it up into some bite-sized pieces to go into the meatloaf. All right. Bacon is coming along pretty well. As I mentioned, these are going to continue cooking in the uh, meatloaf once I get it all cut up. I get that candy flavor on them. The next couple of components for this meatloaf are beginning now. Let's get a black iron pan heated up. Half a stick of unsalted butter. I have here two cups diced red onion. And I have a whole lot more faith in this uh, black iron pan. It'll hold a lot. I also have two cups of pre-sliced baby Bella mushrooms going right in. And while the uh, Mushrooms and onions are sauteing. Pull the bacon. Oh yeah, candy bacon. Pig candy. And we're gonna cut these up into little bite-sized chunks for the uh, for the meatloaf. That'd be pretty good. Looks like the onion and mushroom mixture is just about ready. They smell great. Okay, so uh, all you need to do is get yourself a slotted spoon or a reasonable facsimile thereof. Don't want a whole lot of uh, moisture in these. So this uh, slotted spatula will do. In my hometown, Colorado Springs, there's a restaurant called the Mason Jar. One of the great things about this restaurant is that everything they do involving onions, they use red onions exclusively, just red onions. I thought that was, even the onion rings are good. I thought, man, that's a great idea. Kind of uh, jumped on that bandwagon. We're ready to assemble the meatloaf. We've got a ton of ingredients out here. First, I've got a dozen bowls out here. I'm probably gonna need every one of them. Our expert fire starter and egg cracker, Levi, is going to crack an egg for you. I 
That's one. And I'll do the other one. Two eggs, okay? Usually I do two pounds of ground beef and one pound of ground pork, but I've got this extra half pound here, so it's gonna be two and two. So there's one. One of our two pounds of ground beef. It's another pound of ground pork here. Shut up, cicada. And finally, another pound of ground beef. How I'm going to mix this? Anybody's guess. Over here in this bowl, we have our uh, candy bacon, which is cooled down. I'm gonna use two tablespoons of Knox Spice Jamaican Jerk Seasoning. This is the magic, as they say. And since I like it so much, I'll put a little more in. Yay. I'm gonna use the rest of this shaker of Knox Spice Yummy Chicken. I wanna use two tablespoons, but I don't think I've got that much. But I'll make it work. We'll see. Good dump the whole thing. Probably. There's one. There's two. Perfect. A little more. Three tablespoons of garlic granules. This is Jimbo Jitsu's secret recipe. I guess it's not a secret anymore, huh? I'm gonna hit it with some salt. Recipe calls for about two teaspoons or two tablespoons of this. I'm probably gonna cut it down to one. It does. There's plenty of salt in the bacon, so we don't need that much. I'm going to put a little bit. I'm going to start chunking this up before I throw in. I know I'm going to need a bigger bowl. Levi's pouring in the eggs. All right. Hey, I forgot to show one important ingredient. Breadcrumbs. Probably not going to need a lot. I cannot talk tonight, too. So I'm just going to put just, just a little bit here and a little bit over here for Levi's side because we're both going to get dirty. Can we start now? We can start now. <laughs> Yay, we're mixing and we're squishing and this feels weird. All right, it's time to get really dirty. Just added the mushroom onion mixture to everything else and it's time to mix them up. Our uh, loaf pan. This is a five pound loaf pan. I couldn't find a three pounder, so this one's just gonna have to work, right? Yeah. All goes in. And that's only half of it. Smash it down a little bit. It's gonna help me smash. Yeah. I have one more surprise for you before we put this on the grill. I'll show that to you now. I'm gonna let this go at least an hour. As big as it is, it could take two hours. We'll see. Keep the grill at 350 degrees, like I said, for about an hour or more. And you may notice I have added some more charcoal. The slump charcoal is great, but it burns down too quick. And I want a smoky flavor, so we're adding some uh, cherry wood. This is gonna be awesome. All right. The prep work is done. Now it's time to relax. <laughs> Finally. All right, we'll catch you in a few. Mmm. Mmm. Candy bacon. This is the one that escaped a little while ago. There you go. All right, about an hour has gone by. That looks good. I'm gonna take my not so instant read thermometer, go right in the middle. I'm gonna check the internal temperature here. We're looking for about 155 Fahrenheit. Okay, it is showing 110, so we've got probably at least half an hour to go, maybe more. I'm gonna spin this pan around. 180. <laughs> if I went 360, I wouldn't have to bother spinning the pan around, right? Because 360 is a full circle. 180 is half a circle. All right, let's get the lid on that. Kind of uh, douse that flame. 
coming along real good. We'll be back as soon as it's ready to go. Look at that. Outstanding. Thanks for the recipe, Matt. Can't wait to try this. What else do we have? I see some mac and cheese. I see some pineapple slices. I see some uh, pasta salad. I see some rice with a few of the leftover mushrooms we had. What else? Oh yeah, we all got one. We all have one. And I see some baked beans. You know what I'd say? I'd say this is a well-balanced, smoky goodness feast. Since I slaved over a hot grill all day long, I'm going in. Ah, oh, yeah, there's a little bit of everything. What a feast! Mmm, man. The baby teeth are falling like rain.